that's not the occupation then. I never knew about this actually before, you know? It wasn't one time. So, so my point of, of this story uh, uh, is to say, if we actually have this, you know, one point that will push the debate one step right or left, I think focusing on it is very, very important. Putting so much resources, all of our resources, behind one little tiny point, we might end up pushing it, and we might not. So, I mean, don't have any delusions about our capacity that we can go to a you know, one lobby day and say, end the occupation now, and then we'll change stuff. I mean, th th things won't change unless we actually push this one millimeter and then succeed in pushing the one millimeter. Now, legislation-wise, last year I worked um, for eight months to include, um, you know, one section in one bill. Uh, me and two people in, uh, from AFSC, two people from FCNL, worked for eight months to include the one, one section to uh, the Defense Authorization Bill. Uh, the Defense Authorization Bill, uh, the a section that we pushed for, is a section that says we, the Congress, actually acknowledge, uh, we recognize this bilateral agreement between the US and Iraq, and we think the President should abide to the timetables included in it. And to exercise our congressional oversight role, we actually require you to send us, to give us a report every three months to make sure that the US is withdrawn. Now, it's, it's a worry, one very short uh, um, you know, paragraph, uh, but uh, we, had, we had to meet with so many Congress members, we had to like, raise it to so many people, get a buy-in from Chairman Skelton himself to, to put it, he pushed it, then it wasn't added in the Senate version, and we spent weeks the, lobbying the Senate to uh, keep it uh, in the bill after the conference. So much work, right? Other organizations like Win Without War lobbied uh, through uh, Congressman Parr. They, they added uh, one sentence to the defense appropriations. Uh, and I mean, just to see the scale of these things, if, if you are interested, the, the section that I ended up helping uh, add, to add to the Section 12, uh, 12 uh, 27 to the defense authorization. And the sections that were added to the defense appropriations are sections 9008 and 9010. They are literally three lines or four lines. And they needed uh, work for months and months and months and months of, of like national organizations push this. So, I mean, this is not to discourage anyone, but just to show the scale and pace of work in the Congress. The, like for example, the appropriations process for next year, for FY11, um, now we're going through. Uh, in, in March is the hot month uh, that uh, we can actually affect the process. We send letters to the Congress, and then after that it goes through it. A lot of different things. You know? Like we, we started working on the appropriations process of, of, of 2011, from December of last year, uh, to try to add a line here, two sentences there, you know, like this type of thing. So very, very focused, the, the space of changing the US policy through the Congress is very limited, very slow. It takes a long, long time, because the US Congress doesn't really uh, work on foreign policy that much. It works on it in you know, the long run. So that's why, you know, I mean, I hope that my two experiences, which I, I think they are successes, I, I hope that they, they can put things in now, one example, like a couple of examples, I think, if I have another five minutes or so. Like examples of things that I uh, um, try to, uh, to talk to folks who work on Israel Palestine to focus on. Like, for example, last year, uh, there is this one office in the uh, State Department. It's called the Office, um, U.S. State Department Office on. Um, Human Rights, uh, like War Crimes, uh, oh, Office right. of War Crimes. It's this little office, no one knows it exists, but it actually <laughs> created you know, like uh, 10 years ago by Clinton or something. And it has, I think, one under secretary like person and like a couple of staff, yeah, a couple of staff. Very small office. They're, they actually, uh, their, um, uh, you know, work is supposed to focus on alleged, any, any, uh, if anyone
someone says, oh, that we have a war crime here or there. So they should investigate that, you know? So, yeah. so I, I thought that if we, if we worked on that for like a year, maybe we can push that office to say, let's investigate what happened in Gaza, or let's investigate one incident that happened in Gaza. You know, you see like what the scale? We have to take the United Nations bombing in Gaza, work for a full year, put all of our organization's resources for a full year, all of our time for a full year, to talk to this one person and two staffers, to convince them to actually uh, have an investigation. I think we might succeed, we might not, you know? I mean, like, th like that's one idea that I tried to push off. Or like the, the other idea that, that for this year, like, you know that um, you have, uh, we have four asks, uh, four suggested asks for this conference. Uh, one of them is the uh, Military Export uh, Accountability Act, uh, right? Uh, how can we uh, mobilize that to try to stop uh, things to Israel? Uh, that, I think, is a, is a good tool. It's too big for us, though, and it's too big for uh, the Congress or anyone to, to, to work on it.